Probably a typical Polking Horn celebration, I'd say. Polking Horn pops up at the right time and doesn't she love celebrating a goal? With Meeks, we always get um, really good photos together, me and Meeks, and whenever I score, she's usually the first one who's around me for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, we always like celebrating together and um, she's been there from the start with me at Raw and just seeing her develop over her career as well. I'm preparing for, I guess, 150 games in the W League and 150 games with Brisbane Raw and obviously that's something I'm really, really proud of to be a, a one club player and it's been you know, a real privilege for me to, to represent my home city for as long as I have. Queensland get their hands on the inaugural W League trophy because they've won it too. Yeah, it was sort of a really exciting time for women's football in Australia and we got a new league that was kicking off and, and win the final was something really special. Played a grand final at, at Ballymore, um, which was an awesome stadium to play at and I think we got four or five thousand or five and a half thousand um, people there and the atmosphere was awesome. To play with this group of players, um, you know, Kate McShay, Carla Reuter, Alicia Ferguson, Lana Hark, they were people that um, we were playing with when I first got to the QAS, so to, to be able to play in a league with them uh, was something really special. Oh gosh, <laughs> oh, a long time ago now, um, but I think this was my first Julie Dolan medal. I think a big thing for me is being consistent in my football and I think when I'm enjoying playing, I can get that consistency in my game and yeah, obviously I, w I was consistent for the season and um, hopefully did a few things right. Maybe we had a busy season at the back at Raw. <laughs> um, this one is, I'm really proud of this one um, for a number of reasons. Um, winning the Premiership uh, and the second reason was um, obviously Coach Mel at the time. Yeah, she's been an unbelievable support for me, um, both on and off the pitch and uh, what we achieved with that group was something really special and she's been a really good, you know, I obviously coach, um, but also friend as well off the pitch and yeah, really proud that, that you know, she was able to achieve that as well. I loved coming up against Lena Kamas. We've had a lot of good battles over the years and especially early on and the rivalry between Brisbane and Sydney. Um, we always had some really good battles and, and she's, she's been one that I, I love playing against. Good mates off the field, but yeah, she was, it was always um, good fun coming up against her. I mean, Devanna's always difficult. Um, she's just so quick. Um, Michelle is, is quick again, slightly different players and, and then Sam can just do anything at any time. So they've all got their, their own little challenges I guess. As a defender you, you want to be playing against the best players and um, testing yourself and, and seeing areas that you need to improve as well. This is one of my many aerial battles at headers and yeah I like to think I'm okay in the air. should probably work on my technique a little bit but and it's something I've I've worked on with Jeff early on in my career, you know, being a defender himself. You know, he put in a lot of time and effort with us centre backs and, and defenders and attacking the ball and, and being confident in the air and yeah, so I think that's just been something that I've developed throughout my career. They're the champions for a second time! Oh, I remember the moon. I mean everyone wrote us off at the beginning of the season. Obviously they, they don't come around very often so when they do happen you've really got to make the most of it, enjoy the moment and you know, probably being young at the time I, I may not have appreciated just how much of an achievement it was. Champions!